I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, my Facebook, like it blanked. Like it went, bl it blanked out. And then it like started to reload. I don't, I don't know what happened. I've had the weirdest stuff happen to, oh, and now this is going to fall. Y'all, these are, these are not good premonitions of year 38. Facebook freaking blips out on me, cuts me off. My little phone holder decides it wants to start moving again. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know what the heck's going on. This is going to be a mysterious year full of mystery and craziness. That's what this means, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like my thing is going to fall again. You know how it happens. Oh, it is. It is. Y'all, what the heck? What the heck? Facebook, what are you doing to me? All right. So anyways, <laughs> what I was going to say is that I wanted to try something new out tonight. So I was at, thank you, Karen, my beautiful lashes. So I was at um, DSW, actually, and there was this thing that I saw on Amazon, and I wanted to get it. And then I was at DSW, and they had something similar, and I was like, oh, I wonder if it's as good as the other thing. And you guys were like, Sam, what the hell are you talking about? Don't worry, I'm getting there. And so I got it. So what it is, and I forget what it was called on Amazon, and I think it's, it was the original. This is a knockoff. So this is called Erase Your Face. And it's some sort of, God dog it, some sort of cloth, some sort of magic cloth that like all you have to do is wet it and it removes all your makeup. So I haven't used it yet to try and remove my makeup. And you're supposed to be able to use it like a bazillion times and it still works. So I figured we would try it. Thank you, Adesu. I figured we would try it tonight because I have mascara on. Because that's one thing I wonder. Like, it, anything can pretty much... I don't wear makeup makeup, right? It's just powder. I'm like, anybody, anything can take powder off. But how will it work with mascara? Yeah, Charles has actually been using the face eraser, not to take his makeup off, but just because, this is going to kick my ass all night, y'all, but because um, uh, we didn't have an extra clean washcloth that I gave him this to use. <laughs> That's what happened. So, let's try it. And it didn't say anything about a certain temperature of water or anything like that, but I figure, what better place to try something new than sing side with Sam? Because if it works... Y'all should all go out and get it. And if it doesn't work, don't waste your money. So it's just said to like rub your face. Now I am concerned with like it pulling lashes, but I mean this thing is soft y'all. Like super microfiber cloth soft. It's definitely making me smudgy. I look sad with smeared mascara. Is it falling again? I get so paranoid. This is interesting. I'm not quite sure how well it's working though. You need to do laundry. You need to do laundry. Me. I'm good for nothing. Don't you remember? I am the lazy ass wife that really is just here for your entertainment. I don't know. This seems like it works pretty well. It's definitely taken off. I mean, you can't see anything. It's a black cloth, right? But. And it doesn't feel very rough on my lashes. And it actually. It's actually removing the mascara. Oh, God dog it. So, I mean. It's not like, like, this isn't waterproof mascara. Like, this is regular, regular mascara, right? Um, but it actually does seem to work, y'all. I kind of wasn't expecting it to. I was expecting to be like, epic fail. Don't waste your money on this. And then I was going to buy the other one because I figured it would be better. But this is called Erase Your Face. And I think it was like, it was less than $10. 
I got it from DSW, but I'm sure you can buy it, buy it at other retail locations other than DSW. I don't this is pretty awesome. And another thing that I wanted to point out. <laughs> yes, Narda, today is my birthday. I'm 38 today. Y'all, I'm 38. I'm so not embarrassed to say my age because I look amazing. I look amazing. Like, if I, when I'm 48, I'll be like, that's right, bitches. I'm 48 and I am rocking it. Like, that's how, this is just how it's going to be. Like, I'm not concerned at all about getting older. Like, not at all. Because I look amazing. Because these products are freaking magic. Like Hogwarts magical. I mean, it's insane. I feel like I should still wipe my eyes. But really, no, like, it's all off. I'm amazed, guys. I am amazed by the face eraser. I'm just saying. All right, so... What I was getting at, the other thing that I wanted to bring up, amazing. And then you just hang it to dry. Like you just hang it and it dries out. Um, so I want you to take notice of my eyebrows. So normally, when I do my eyes, like when I do mascara and stuff, um, I have to line my brows. Because I had the microblading done and it, it just faded really quickly. Um, and so I had to go back to doing liner on my brows because like with my black hair and I get the black mascara, like I have to do something to make my brows darker, right? Because they look crazy brown. Where's your face? My face is on the cloth, Charles. <laughs> and so I told you guys like, because the lash boost, there's so much lash, lash serum left after the two to three month like period, because it's only, the po after about three months, the potency of our lash serum starts to decline due to oxygenation. Oxygenation. Oxygenation? Due to oxygen getting in the tube. And so, but because there's still so much left, I figured, hey, Oxidized. I would start, use it. This is a crap. So I would start using what was left, like I would start my new tube for my lashes, but what was left I would use for my bottom lashes and my brows because it's not as potent, right? Well, let me tell you, it's falling again, y'all. Ugh. So, um, Can I get you another one? this is just like, I don't know, a couple weeks maybe of using the, what the leftover on my brows and they are so much darker. Like this is darker. It's probably as dark as like when I line my brows. But what I like is that it's darker, darker. Like it kind of was like a reddish brownish weird with my liner, like it looked more brown. But like this like actually matches my hair better. And this is just a, f a couple weeks, like probably two weeks of using the, the leftover lash serum on my brows, which is amazing. Where's match? Um, no, I think I'm still browner than you my brows I think so but so y'all like that's that's what you do make sure that you get the new lash serum after three months because you want to make sure that these puppies stay beautiful but what's left because there will be a crap load left that lower potency is perfect for under here and y'all I'm not a doctor I'm not a dermatologist sorry I'm gonna have to lick this I'm gonna have to lick it and stick it back on lick it and stick it Oh, but see, it's so freaking sticky right there. Uh, how filthy was that, y'all? That was pretty filthy. Um, but, like, how awesome is it that it's just potent enough to still do... Like, I really just want them darker. I don't want more hair. I'll have wolf brows. It happened to me a long time ago because I tried the last serum on my brows forever ago. I need to start doing my face, y'all. Um, and it did. they got crazy. Like, it was out of control. But this, because it's less potent, it's, like, perfect. And I'm just amazed. Like, I was so excited this morning when I was like, you know what? I don't have to line today. And that's also good because my liner is almost out. <laughs> I, I didn't really want to have to go buy more. 
Thank you, friends. This is this is last year. It made them so much darker. Like, go back and look at some of my other my older videos, even from just a couple weeks ago. Like, they've gotten so much darker. Thank you, Claude. My happy birthday, Tiara. Happy birthday. I will tell you that this has been one of the better birthdays because I've had three people call me and sing to me. And that's awesome. It is awesome. The best part is one of the guys that I worked for called me and he like sang a crazy birthday song that I'd never heard before. And he like with gusto y'all, like he was all about that song. And Charles is sitting next to me and he, he can hear him through the phone. He's like, who is that? And it was awesome. It made my day. Cause you know, I love when people do stuff that they don't normally do. So when people call me to sing me a song, hell yeah, I love it. I do the same thing, Georgie, because I forget when I open up my products. And the Lash Serum is one that I really want to make sure that I have updated after three months. It's pretty important. So, this is actually the first, I've always meant to, this was the first tube, this last one was the first one that I was like, okay, I'm writing the date on it. Because I'm going to forget. Because to me, like eight years seems like a week. Like I've gotten so bad with telling time. Cause I'm like, that was just the other day. No, it was a year ago. Samantha, just a year ago. So I, I've got to, I have to write stuff down now, especially if, if I want to remember. It's cause I'm 38. That's why. That's why. Ah. Oh. Part of the reason I look so good is cause of this right here. Minimizing pores, detoxifying, detoxifying. I don't, I don't know if that's a word. Detoxifying my skin, getting it all firm and lovely. So it's not all saggy and old looking because nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm a little streaky a little bit. Yeah, well, and it's weird, Claude. So I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is, that my hormone level is finally evening back out. Now that I'm on my second month of the right birth control, I actually haven't had any... And like my breakouts are like one to three pimples, you know, either right before that time of the month or right after. And this time I didn't get anything like this past week. And so when I don't have any, uh, we don't, when I don't have a pimple, I'll use the, the anti-aging mask all over. But if I do have a pimple, usually because it's hormonal related and it's along the jawline, I'll do the anti-aging mask from about cheekbones up. And then I do our acne face wash as a mask for cheekbones down, like the jawline. But yeah, so, be, and like I said, I don't, I only use it when I have a pimple and I don't, I don't have any pimples. You, I did, I, I'm not any less psycho than normal, Charles. I don't think, that's just being honest. I haven't been like crazy psycho. Just when Walgreens people jack with me, that upsets me a little bit. That was ridiculous. I was so angry. But I look back on that video now and I'm like, that was pretty funny. Like it was outrageous, but it was funny. I'm waiting for my, I'm waiting for my face to get hard. Sorry, my mask. I feel like I have goop in my eyes. Mascara goop. Little black goop from the mascara. I do. Uh. So here's conversation. So it's always, like I guess it's not always. Probably the last two to three years. May not even have been that long. Like it's your birthday, right? You're another year older and you get reflective. Just like you do like New Year's Eve and that kind of crap. 
And so what I always think about is that, like I think about, like I put myself up against that, that preconception of what I had really when I was a kid, a teenager, of people my age. And so I'm like 38. That's actually really, that's really close to 40. And then I think about like what I thought 40 was like. And 40 was ancient. You know, when I was a teenager, 40 was really freaking old, y'all. And of course we know it's not old. 40's not old at all. And it's not because I'm really close to it. That may be a little bitty part of it, but it's really not. Like, I don't think old is until like mid-70s. Mid to late 70s, that's old to me now. But, and so I think about like the stuff that I do, you know, like washing my face on Facebook Live, wearing a fuzzy pink tiara. And I'm like, do I think that that is something that is appropriate for a 38 year old woman to do? And it's still weird for me to call myself a woman. Like I'm a girl, y'all. I'm a chick. Like those two things make me happy. Hello, Carolyn. Thank you, friend. Um, but like, so those are the things I think of. And it was even like, it wasn't that long ago, me and Charles were going to dinner and I don't know, I said something, did something, who the hell knows with me. But I looked at Charles and I was like, do you think like I need to act more my age? Like, do you think I'm kind of ridiculous for my age? And he was like, no, I don't. And I'm like, good, because, and you young people, any young people that are watching, you will learn as you start to get older. Like after a point, it's like your physical body may start to act older, but you don't feel any older on the inside. And it jacks with you hard. Because like, I think about my friend, Emily. Now, Emily is more mature than most kids her age like she's shit Emily she's not watching but she's 27 maybe I can't remember now Emily's really young she may be 24 or something ridiculous like that but like we get along really really well and I feel like I don't see age anymore you know it's just like does my soul like your soul cool let's hang out like that's how it is and I don't even really think about age ever um, except when I'm talking to Charles and I want to point out how much older he is than me. That's about it. But like to me, I'm perfectly fine hanging with Emily and she's a good 10 years younger than me. And then I look at some of the other people that I hang out with that are easily 10 plus years older than me, but it doesn't seem like they're that much older than me. You know what I mean? This is the deep birthday conversation. I know. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. That's why I must say, like, I am so happy that I have these products because I can act the fool. And just because my energy is so youthful and crazy and stupid and silly and people look at my face and I don't have like, you know, super crow's feet, super forehead lines, you know, and they're like, that's silly girl. Just wait till she grows up. And I'm like, that's right. I am a silly girl. A silly 38 year old girl. Because honestly, y'all, like, I don't see myself getting any different anytime soon. Like, I just don't. I mean, I'll be 10 years from now, I'll be 48, and I will still do product presentations on Facebook Live in onesie pajamas. Like, I will. And like, I just, because why wouldn't you? Because that is so much fun. That's so much fun. Why would you not do stuff like that? And then, then I think this, I'm like, well, what about the people that like are all judgy and they're like, Samantha, and they're like, oh, Samantha, we love you. But then they're like, turn to their friend. And they're like, that girl is ridiculous. Like she really needs to just accept where she's at and act properly. And then I'm like, I don't, and then I think this, it's like, I will pray for you <laughs> because I feel so sorry that for some reason you don't think you can be silly, that you can't have fun. Those are the things that I think. Those are the thoughts that have been in my head probably the past 48 hours. 
And I think these things all on my own. I don't need any prompting. My head just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. That's what I say, Claude. Screw them. Go be unhappy. Go be unhappy somewhere else. Or hang around me a little bit more. Maybe some of this fun will rub off on you. Because it's like it's one of those things that you always hear old people say on movies. And you can define what old people means. They're usually white hair and wrinkly. That's old people. But they're like, you're only as young as you feel. Or you're only as old as you feel. And I really believe that. But why some people, like, act older, I don't understand. Like, maybe they were sheltered. Maybe they're, maybe they're in a controlling relationship. Like, I don't know, but I wonder those things. Like, what is it? What is it that your soul cannot be bouncing around? Why can't you be happy, joyous, and free? What is it? What's holding you back? I think that's the better question. Not so much, what drugs is Samantha on? But more so, what's holding you back from having fun? Because, y'all, it's great being stupid like this. I have so much fun. That's why I look forward to this so much. Because it's like, all the time, like, just cut loose. Just cut loose with my buddies at the sink. That's right. You should be using Erase Your Face. Charles Klein. I just use it to take off the makeup. I'm not taking it, I'm not using it for anything else. You sure do, don't have a problem Tell me what to do on here, but you're too tired to come do this with me? I'm not bashing the old soul. Don't, don't put words in my mouth. Nikki, I'm just saying, like old soul and acting old are completely different. Completely different. Even though we call you granny. Although I find that to be an endearing quality, personally. I like talking to you more because of it. Yes, our little Anne turned one month old yesterday. My granddaughter. Already, it's hard to believe it's been a month since Christmas. Crazy. Crazy. All right. I will tell you. So I've got two product presentations this weekend, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. And I knew I was going to come on tonight for the birthday sink side. Y'all, I have been vigilant <laughs> with my regimens this like for the past week. Cuz there was one night I was like, I'm really tired. And then I realized it was 7:30. And one, I should not be that tired. And two, I had plenty of time to wash my face. And I was like, I'm going to be 38 on Friday. I have to do everything I can to make sure I don't look 38 on Friday when I do Sing Side with Sam. Because if I get on and I'm like, it's my birthday. I feel great. I love these products. Look how amazing my skin is. And y'all are like, you look like ass. Like, that's not, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Can't, can't do that. So I was like, can't be lazy. So I've been so good. You, I mean, it, I go through waves with that. We've talked about that before. Like, all of a sudden, I'll do, like, two or three days of lazy skincare, and I feel like a bum. Ooh! Claudette, you're ambitious this weekend. Coming to both. They're both going to be really good. If anybody's in the spring area, Saturday afternoon in uh, North Crest Village, and then at 2920, and, like, Gosling, Kirkendall area, and then Sunday, Auburn Lakes. I'll be at both. You should come and see me. Because I just like to have my friends all together. Because it's like a party. Like a party. I was going to do like a little birthday music soundtrack. And I'm like, no, because I don't want Facebook shutting me down. Because I don't have the rights to that music. Because we've had a couple of those scares. Where I was like, I don't know if it's going to post, y'all. Facebook just told me. That song's not yours, Samantha. You don't have the rights to that song. Luckily, I've always scaped, scraped through. I just do, you do. You and Beverly, come to Texas whenever you want. I got two extra rooms in my house. Or we can kick Charles out of the bed and we can have a slumber party 
in the master bedroom and we can all sleep together and we can have girl talk and have a pillow fight and wear onesie pajamas and pigtails because that's just fun and maybe make s'mores because when do you not want a s'more they're amazing just saying but i'd go to alabama too i would so go to alabama and hang out with y'all because it would be awesome uh I just threw that gauze pad on the floor. <laughs> because that trash can needs to be changed and you have to open the lid. And I'm like, I don't know why I'm going to open that lid because that damn thing is full. And I'm like, I'm going to throw it on the floor. So that's what I did. Stacy! My beautiful blonde friend in Ohio. That is, y'all, so I will tell you. Yes. Dude, I'm down... Y'all, I'm down for a road trip, whatever. For real. Whenever. Because I can do my business anywhere. Anywhere. Talk to people anywhere. Use my phone. Take care of people anywhere. Because my, both my jobs, really, both my jobs are awesome. I can do both of them anywhere. Pretty much. I don't know what I was going to say. I was going to say something, y'all. Oh. Oh, it was in my head and then it left again. 38 will be the year of forgetfulness. What was I thinking? Damn it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Damn it. I hate when that happens. I really do. But I get so bloop, butterfly, and bam, sidetrack automatically. Like I can't help it. My brain goes too fast. What was I gonna say? This is gonna kill me, y'all. I gotta move on to another topic quick. But I can't think of anything because I'm still trying to think. All my brain space is like thinking about, what were you gonna say, Samantha? I don't know. My mouth is really dry. Ugh. It's really dry. Alzheimer's. It could be. Dementia. We were just talking about that. Son of a bitch, Claude! Holy crap! That makes me so happy! God, I want to cuss, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. This is a family show. Holy crap! Y'all, I'm telling you. Our, the lipo procedure that I represent, y'all, it's the bomb. It really is. Oh, it makes me four inches. Jesus Christ! It's amazing! Like, I know how amazing it is, right? And then I have friends that have the procedure and they talk about what's going on. I'm like, Jesus Christ. It, it's been um, almost two months. Two months on the 7th for Claudette. And it's like, you haven't even begun. Like, you haven't even hardly begun losing. That's what's mind-blowing about that. Holy crap. Holy crap. I'm going to keep rolling my forehead, apparently. Because cause I can't do anything else. I keep having snippets of what I was going to say in my head. Because I thought it was actually... I it was actually product related that I was actually going to talk about some of the skincare while I was doing my face. It's gotten to where we don't anymore, hardly, you know, because there's so much other stuff to talk about. Like, I don't have to pimp the skincare every time we do sink side. I don't. But, although it's very fun to do, I could talk about these products all day long. All day long. But no wrinkles. Look at that, y'all. Everybody, clap your hands for Claude. Yes, she deserves a round of applause. Absolutely. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's so awesome. So, y'all, and for one, you don't have to live in Houston um, to do your consultation. Like, we can do, we've got all this technology. If you are interested in this procedure, we're the only clinic in Texas that does it. Um, we can actually do your consultation via FaceTime or Skype 
or whatever because there's so much crap we can do. And then you fly in for your or drive in, whatever, for your procedure on Friday, go back home on Sunday, back to work on Monday. Zero downtime. Just a cu couple days, two to four days or so of draining. It just depends. Just depends. But for real, y'all. If you're interested in learning more, I do have a Facebook group page that I've got a whole bunch of information on. We're actually having a special this month. Well, actually through February, running a special if anybody's interested. I'll be more than happy to talk to you about it. Oh, I saw an email. I think it might have been sent to uh, Charles's customer account because it's my email address. Because I saw that. I was wondering. I think it's great that they email to replace rollers. You don't need to replace yours though, Claude. Yeah, because they're good for a year. Any Anybody that's watching, rollers are good for a year. After a year, you need to replace it. Because it's not going to work as well. But how awesome that you can roll like this for a year and the darn thing still works perfectly. Mm-mm-mm. We do need to update it, Club. We do need to update it. I may, we may do like a two month uh, follow up interview on there. Because two months is good. It's a good, good time to reconnect. Just like with our skincare, 60 days. Good time to, to check in, do comparison. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. I had so much other crap I was going to say, I have no idea what it was. No idea. Thank you, Becky. I am the birthday princess. Because at 38, you need a birthday tiara. There's like, it's like a rule. Last year I have a sash. And I wore the sash too. This year I was like, I don't want a jack with a sash. I'll just wear the tiara. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Have to get quiet when I roll the lips. Don't want to mess them puppies up. Mm -mm 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 All right. Oh, neck. Jesus. I'm telling you, 38's the year of forgetfulness. I've already been slightly forgetful as it is. It's just going to get worse, I guess. No yikes, Claude, because you don't look your age at all. At all. That's why I say bring them on. Bring on those years. I'm not scared. I'm not concerned. Because I look amazing. Amazing. Wouldn't it be nice to not be scared of your birthdays and embrace them and enjoy them? Because... It doesn't matter what age you are, you look good, you feel good. <gasps> Charles, I do need a birthday onesie for next year. That would be awesome. Awesome. And it could say, like, it's my birthday. One of the girls in my writing group actually has a jersey that says, today's my birthday. And I'm like, I need a jersey that says, today's my birthday. Even though you only wear it for one day. But who cares? Anyone that... <laughs> that sees me on my bike can honk. Happy birthday, girl on your bicycle. Y'all, I haven't ridden my bike in over two months. It is, it's bad. Monday, I'm on my bike. I said that last week, but we had weird weather. But Monday, I, I gotta get back on that bike. This booty needs to ride. Got to. Got to ride. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like there's something else going on. Charles, I will castrate you. I will take all your golf clubs and throw them, I don't know, into the Gulf of Mexico. 
and it's so nasty in there, you're not going to, you're not going to want to jump in and save them. I would kill you. I would kill you dead. It makes me happy to know I'm not the only one home on a Friday night. Even though that doesn't bother me, it's gotten to where like, if I want to go out, I want to go out during the week, not so much the weekend, to be honest. Too much noise, too many people. <laughs> Makes me cranky. Cause I'm an old woman. I keep saying that, but then I'm like, I'm not old. I'm sending mixed messages. Uh, I need some water. Charles, if you would like to bring me some water, I would appreciate it. Like I can hear my mouth. I don't like that at all. Kind of filthy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I am still doing my birthday uh, special for new preferred customers. FYI, people out there. Free gift through Sunday. I extended it. It was originally just through today. But I was like, I love you so much. I'm going to extend it through Sunday. So you can be pretty too, with beautiful skin. Oh, I love Bruno Mars. I hear footsteps. Oh, I love you. You, he drank some of that water. I told you, I was thirsty. Whew. I feel way better. Was that gross to do? I don't know. I don't know why I'd be concerned with that now. I have crossed the line I feel many times on Sing Side to Sam. Oh. Oh, my mouth feels so much better. Like, now that I think about it, I don't think I've had any water or anything to drink for that matter since, like, like this morning. Because I meant to get a bottle of water when I went to get my nails done and I didn't. And then I thought, I'll ask them for a bottle of water. Because every place has water now. And then I didn't. I forgot. And then I went to my friend Tracy's house afterwards. And I was like, I'll ask Tracy for some water. But I didn't. Like, I'm, I haven't had any water, like, since this morning. That's crazy. Charles gets mad at me because I'm like, can I have a drink of your water? And a drink means, I mean, easily three gulps. And he's like, you're not going to leave me any. I'm like, you don't even drink it. You put it by your bed for like a security blanket. I never, very rarely does he drink the water. And then he leaves the bottle on his nightstand for me to pick up. Makes no sense. I was really thirsty. I had to slam that. I had to slam it. Hydration is important, not just for your skin, but for your body too. And I pretty much only drink water. I am exclusively a water drinker for the most part. I do have my cup of coffee in the morning now. And I drink a little bit of chocolate milk when I take my morning meds because I enjoy chocolate milk. Makes me happy chocolate milk I like to say chocolate for no particular reason other than it makes my ears happy are there words that like y'all have that where there's just words that you pronounce them funny just because it makes it just because it sounds good to you like I'm, there's nothing wrong with saying chocolate but I like to say chocolate I just do and mittens. I like to say mittens. I am a dork, straight up. <laughs> no lie. 38 year old dork. I'm gonna say that all, like the rest of this weekend. I'm 38 and I'm amazing. I'm a 38 year old dork. I'm 38 and I crack myself up. Mm -hmm. mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I've been getting millions. 
any place that I've ever bought anything from are sending me happy birthday emails today. And at first I was like, oh, thank you, random vendor. And now I'm like, would you just stop it? I don't need anybody else to offer me 10% off on my birthday. Hit me up when it's like 30. The funniest I think I got a window dressing instead of drapes. Yeah, I like that. I like window dressing. I'm down. I may start saying that. I think Charles says window dressings. Perhaps. Charles, do you say that? I think maybe you do. Getting every ounce of crap out of this. This serum is the best. The best! Oh, my pants are falling down. They're like baggy sweatpants. <sighs> Night cream. Curtains. Eh, I like window dressing better. There's another word, isn't there? I feel like there's another word that's like more Euro. You do say a lot of things, Charles. That's for damn sure. You do. Uh, 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 uh. I don't have the energy to do any free birthday stuff. Although I was running around quite a bit today. It was kind of sad, like, just because of the stuff that I wanted to do. It just took up some time, right? And I'm like, I didn't really, I saw Charles this morning, and then I saw him again when I got home at like 5. I was like, I kind of missed you today on my birthday. And then I'm busy this weekend with product presentations. Even though it's busy, that's fun busy. Because I get to hang out with my friends, make new friends, share the magic that is Rodan and Fields. Oh, that's a good point, Claude. I'm sure I knew of everything going on on my birthday that was free when I was in college. College is all about free. For sure. So my energy is being depleted. I'm getting hot in this bathroom. I always get hot in this bathroom. There's a certain point that all of a sudden I'm like, I'm hot. Oh, Charles. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to say like a million years ago. So, what I wanted to say, it was actually nice. It was about all of y'all. When I wasn't driving or getting my nails done, I have been responding to everybody's birthday posts and I just it just clicked in my head that I know I've got like two or three messages I haven't responded to yet but like it y'all I was just overwhelmed I was like oh my god there are so many people that wish me happy birthday and y'all and so I'm responding to every single one of you because it's like if you take the time to wish me happy birthday I can take the time to say thank you because I think that that's important that you even thought about me and that you did that because that's amazing. But then I start looking at, cause it says like, you know, Claudette Hardy from Houston, Texas. And so then I start looking everywhere, like where everybody's coming from. And I'm like, I just feel like big love from all over the world. Cause what was awesome is last night, the Australians were telling me happy birthday. And I'm like, what? A and if, at first I'm like, those silly people, my birthday isn't until tomorrow. And then it clicked and I'm like, because it is tomorrow in Australia. It's like the land of the future to me because they're a day ahead. And that was really cool because I don't, I don't, it, last year I don't think I had any Australian friends. 
this year I do, and it was just like, that's so awesome. They can celebrate my birthday a whole day ahead of me. How awesome is that? But like, it was all over, all over the world. I had friends that were like, happy birthday, Sam. And I'm like, I love you so much. Thank you so much. Because it's awesome. Like, it was just really cool. And I'm like, wait a minute. I need to start making a list of places I want to visit. And I can be like, hey, friend, I'm going to come to town. You got room in your bed? I'm going to sleep it. I'm going to sleep over at your house. It helps when you're planning vacations just because I would like to go somewhere my friends are so I can see them. Because right now it's just convention. Convention is the only time I see anybody. And that's if you guys go to convention. Everybody should go this year though, New Orleans. The toilet swirl the other way. I don't even know if I would notice that the toilet is swirling the other way. I don't even know if I'd notice. We do need to go to Australia though. I would love to go. I've always wanted to go. And go look for stuff that can kill me. Because <laughs> there's so many animals there that can kill you. Like that one spiny fish or something. And you step on it and like you die. Like there's no cure. And it's like this agonizing pain. I don't want that to happen. I would just like to see the spiny fish. In the water. My niece, when I broke my knee... She liked to watch, um, because they had, like, America's Deadliest, and they had Australia's Deadliest, and it was all the deadly animals. And I just remember her saying, Samantha, we can never go to Australia, because we will die. And, like, she was so serious. She was so serious. And I'm like, I know, Charlotte, we can never go. Speaking of, I don't even know how many people saw the post today. So, like, I love everybody for their birthdays are like, you know, donate to this cause for my birthday. Well, I don't have, like, the Facebook cause that I can put on my post. But this September, I am writing in my third tour de cure for diabetes. And my beautiful niece, Charlotte, has type 1 diabetes. She's had it since so she diagnosed right before she turned 5. And she's 10, just turned 10. So for 5 years. And so diabetes has been really important because, like, it sucks for everybody, right? But there's just something about the kids, you know, that, like, type 1, you, it, you either have it or you don't. And she had it. And just all the stuff that she goes through. And it's, like, such a big part of her life. And so what I'm asking is that if you feel compelled, click on my link. I posted it on my page. And... Give a donation. Help me with my ride. I'm working towards a thousand dollars this time. I don't know what my goals. If I didn't get to ride last year because uh, convention was the same weekend. Luckily, that did not happen this year. Oh, I'm not doing this one yet. This is the old one. I need to do my eye cream. But I would love if you would go on and donate to the American Diabetes Association so that we can find a cure for diabetes. It's amazing, I get the newsletter, and they're coming a long way, which is good. I don't know, you would just think that they'd find a cure. Like there's certain things that I'm like, how have you not found a cure yet? Come on, y'all, you're slacking. Then again, I know, I don't know the ins and outs of diabetes. I know a little bit, but not like all of it. Uh -uh -uh. Magic eye cream. My eyes look really big today. Did y'all ever notice like some days just certain features pop out more than others? Tonight, it's like my eyes look so big. Don't worry y'all, we're almost, we're almost done. <clears throat> and you can see how I do it on my eyebrows for anybody that doesn't and is like, what do you do, Sam? I can show you. The Lash Serum. Mm -mm 
No droopy eyelids for me. Ooh, that's a good idea, Carolyn. I love how all of your thoughts are shopping related. <laughs> it makes me happy. But heck yeah, I'd come back with all kinds of Australia crap. Like for real. Like look at this I got from Australia. Look at this. All right, so this is what I do. So this is old. This is more than three months old. And because potency starts to decline right around three months. Dude, that would be badass. We could be like Thelma and Louise. Terrorize every place between here and Alabama. So I do my bottom lashes first <clears throat> and like I have it almost nothing on this brush. Not much. Um, just like you would put on eyeliner. And then I use the other side for the other eye. Uh, and that's that. Now, this is not te uh, clinically tested for below your eyes. So do it uh, at your own risk. This is not the suggested use. I haven't had an issue with it. But the eye area is a very sensitive area. And then I get a little bit more for my brows. I'll try and do it on here. No, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to look in the mirror. And then I just go over like the meat of the brow, like right around the center. And I use both sides of it for this. Uh, uh, uh. But I can tell you it is because I was concerned that it was going to get like I was going to get bushy again like the last time. But because it's not as potent not there's no bushiness which makes me happy do the one side and i will tell you be careful like you want to make sure that it's controlled because if you put this anywhere near like the outside of your eyebrow you will get darker hair there because it only works on existing hair and like you know we've got itty bitty hairs all over our faces so if you put this serum, like outside, like if I just, I don't know, if I had some arm twitch and it went over here, I will have a dark line right there, which is amazing. That's, that's how awesome this serum is. It's amazing. All right, y'all. I've got lip serum and hand cream left and I'll do that right before bed. I'm going to stay up for a little bit longer. <laughs> Celebrate. Drag out my birthday as long as possible by watching reruns of Modern Family because <laughs> that's how I have a good time. Y'all, I love you guys so much. Thank you to everyone for all of your calls, texts, messages, posts, wishing me a happy birthday. Every single one of those brought a smile to my face and it means so much to me. And if I have not personally thanked you yet, it's coming. It just means I've tried to scroll through all of them because I, I don't want to miss anybody. But give me till tomorrow. I'll, I'll go through some of these. Ooh, guys, mustaches is a good idea, Claude. I bet it works. Um, but thank you, guys. You, may, you make every day special anyways, but you made 38 very, very special to me. And I appreciate you guys. So party it up this weekend. Have a good time in honor of my 38th birthday. I hope you guys have a great weekend. If you're in the spring area, I'd love to see you Saturday or Sunday at one of the product presentations. Uh, hit me up and I can send you an invite to give you all the details. Guys, get some rest tonight. Be safe if you're going out. But remember, when you come home, wash your face. Take your makeup off. And do at least some sort of regimen because here on Seeing Side with Sam, we want you to be good to your skin. Good night, guys. I'll see you later.